What's up EDC family? Happy New Year's. Hope y'all enjoyed the holidays. I know I sure did. Did quite a bit of traveling. Even went down to Dallas, Texas. Took a shop tour at Tactile Turn, Tactile Knife Company. If y'all want to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. So here recently we got a package from Blade Ops with a couple knives for us to check out. And today we're going to check out the Stroop Knives GP1. So let's get into it. Now, if y'all don't know who Stroop Knives are, they are here in the U.S., right over in North Carolina, and they are veteran-owned and operated. Now, Blade Ops was kind enough to send us out this GP1 for us to look at, and as soon as I laid my eyes on it, I could see that this knife looked rugged as hell. Now, it's got these rock grinds all along the blade and the scales, and it looks pretty cool. All right, some things about the knife. The knife itself is eight and three quarters inches long with a four inch cutting edge. The blade steel is 1095 high carbon blade steel and it's got G10 scales. Now this knife is insanely comfortable to hold my hand. I wear a size large glove and it fits my hand perfectly. Get a full four finger grip and the knife itself is not super thick. I can hold this knife in many different grips and still find it comfortable in every position. The knife also comes with this Kydex sheath which almost looks to be custom fitted. It's got some really nice retention. I can't even shake it out of the sheath and no rattling. Also comes with a tech lock so you can clip it onto your belt in a horizontal or vertical position. Now I only have a couple gripes about the knife and one is the hardware. The hardware kind of protrudes from the scales. I wouldn't mind seeing the scales a little bit thicker just to get more coverage onto the hardware. Now it's still very comfortable. I don't feel the hardware in my hand at all. It's just a little visually unappealing. Now another gripe I have is the sheath. I wish the sheath had a little bit more of a lip or a ramp to make it easier to push off. Sometimes I won't have the knife clipped to my belt, so with the thumb ramp, it'll be easier for one-handed operation. Now, overall, I think it's a great knife. It's comfortable, it's rugged looking, and made here in the US. Now, you can find this knife for 240 bucks on Blade Ops. I'll leave a link in the description below. But that's it for this one, guys. I will see y'all in the next one.